G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Broken by Seether featuring Amy Lee. Now this is a really fun song to play and I'm gonna teach you all the guitar parts you need to know. Now if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve my guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now I will note that in this lesson, I will be teaching you everything in standard tuning and the playthrough at the end will be in standard tuning as well. But if you wanna play along with the actual recording, then you will need to detune all your strings down one half a step. All right, let's jump into the lesson. All right, so let's start with the verse riff, which is really an iconic part of this song and it's a lot of fun to play. So I'm gonna teach you how to finger pick it, but I'll also teach you an easy strum version after this if this is too difficult for you. So we're gonna start in a position like this. So index and middle finger on the second frets of the fourth and second string. Now in terms of our finger picking rules, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth and fourth strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the third, second and first strings respectively. Ideally, they shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones that have been assigned to. So we're gonna start with the pinch of the fourth and first strings together. And at the same time, you're gonna use your pinky finger to hammer on to the third fret, like that. So you only pinch once, but then the pinky comes and hammers onto the third fret, like that. And then after that, we're followed by three plucks, which is the second, third, and first strings. And in total for this section, And then we're going to switch to a C sus2 chord shape. So it's the same as a C add nine, except we're gonna have our index finger lifted. So you're gonna keep that fourth string open. So at this point, we're gonna pinch the fifth, third, second, and first strings together. Like that. We're gonna hold that out. And then in the next bar, there's a seven note run, which goes third, second, first, third, and then fourth, third, second strings those seven notes and all together for those two bars now we're going to basically repeat those two bars through three times so there's nothing new to learn for the third and fourth bar in the first and second bars of the second line of tab where things differ is when we go to the third bar of the second line of tab. And we're gonna get into a D position, but have your middle finger lifted and have it ready to hammer on into place. So we're gonna start with a pinch on the fourth and first strings, but hammer on our middle finger. And then pluck second and third strings. And then with your pinky finger, put it on the third fret of the first string, pluck that and pull off to second. And then after that, we hit the second string and so far. And then for our next chunk, we're going to again pluck the open first string and then hammer our middle finger into place. And then there's three plucks after this, so second, third, and fourth string. So that chunk. And then finally we have two pull-offs. So our first pull-off is pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. Pluck that and pull it off. And then we're gonna hit the third fret of the second string and then pull that off to the open string. So that final chunk. And all together for the D, which is a little tricky, but just gotta take it slow one bit at a time and you'll get it. And we put that all together and this is what the verse riff sounds like. And that just gets repeated again and again through the verse. Now, if that finger picking is too hard for you, I'm gonna teach you an easy strummed way of playing the verse, which is really simple. There's just two lines of chords here. So for the first line of chords, we have an E minor and a C. Now our strumming pattern's gonna go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
And the point at which we're gonna change from the E minor to the C is on that highlighted down strum. So the first line of chords. So that's repeated through three times. And then the second line of chords is just a D and that's strummed with the strumming pattern that goes down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. So in total, the easy strummed version of the verse sounds like this. Next we move to chorus number one and there's two lines of chords here. So our first line of chords is a C, E minor, and D. Now all three of those chords are contained within one strumming pattern which goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now the points at which we'll change to the E minor and the D will be highlighted on the strumming pattern. So it sounds like this. Now that first line of chords is played through three times. And then the second line of chords, we have the C to the E minor, but it's just a down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And on that final down strum is where we're gonna hit that E minor. After that, we're then going to hit some harmonics here. So just take your ring finger, put it right on top of the fret strip dividing 12th and 13th frets. You're not pushing your finger down, you're just touching that position and we're striking the top three strings. And that's the harmonics. So that final line of chords. And in total for the first chorus. Chorus number two is very similar with a few minor changes. So the first line of chords is actually played through seven times here. And the second line of chords is just a C to the E minor. And we're going to continue on with the same strumming pattern. So we're not changing to a D here. It's just C to E minor for the rest of that strumming pattern. So that final line of chords. And that's it for chorus number two. Next we get to the solo section. Now for the rhythm, it's exactly the same as the easy verse. So I taught you that earlier and it sounds like this. And then we get to the break, which is very similar to the verse, except the strumming pattern changes a little bit. So the strumming pattern is now down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the point at which we'll change chords is on the highlighted down strum from the E minor to the C. So for the first line of chords, so that's repeated through three times. And for the second line of chords, we can either strum a D and hold that out, or we can play some more harmonics, which sounds really cool. So this time we're gonna take our ring finger and put it over the fret strip dividing seventh and eighth frets. So you put it there over the fourth, third, and second strings, and we're gonna be plucking second, third, and fourth strings like that. So instead of the D, you can go It's up to you which one you choose to do. So in total for the break, and this is also used in the outro of the song, it sounds like this. And those are all the rhythm parts for this song. Now let's learn how to play the solo, which is pretty fun. It's got two lines of tab here. 
So we're going to start an open position like this. You're going to start by hitting the open sixth string, then the open fifth string, but hammer on with your middle finger onto the second fret. Then you're going to do the same thing with the fourth string with your ring finger and that chunk. And then you're going to pluck that fourth string again and slide up to the fifth fret and then go back down to the fourth fret with your middle finger. So those two notes. And then we have a four note run which goes fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, and then down to the second fret with your index finger. So. And then for the third bar, we're gonna hit this note again, then open second string, open first string, and then back to open second string. So in total for the first line and tab. Now for the second line of tab, our first two bars are almost identical except for the last note. So for that last four note run we go 4th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret and then open 4th string and then get into a D sus 2 chord shape. For the third bar we're going to start with the 3rd string, 2nd string, 1st string and then back to the 2nd string. So those four notes. And then to end this. We're gonna hit that second fret of the third string, pluck it again, and slide up to fourth fret and pluck it another two times. So that last run. And one more time. And the second line of tab. and the solo in total. And those are all the parts you need to learn for this song. And again, I've taught you everything in this lesson in standard tuning and the playthrough at the end of the song is in standard tuning, but if you play along with the actual recording, then you will need to detune your guitar a half step. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, practice play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.